Hello, everybody. One second. Hello, everybody. Let me see. Sarah, Rebecca, Anne, Sharon, Mona, Lisa, Katie, Queen Ariel, Tina, Guan, and Beth. Spirit, Wolf, Tracy, Pamela. Dawn, Sharon R, Virginia, nice to see you guys. Lovely to see you guys. Thank you all very much for being here. Arthur K, nice to see you. Hello, mommy, hello. Oh, don't worry about not being here for a while. Hi, Shirley, hi, Anne. Lovely to see you all. Jaguar, nice to see you. Thanks for your messages yesterday. Elisa, Sam, thank you. Penelope, hello, Lynn, Monique, Rebecca. Mummy and Rebecca, I've got two sponsors in the room, lovely. Oh, and Anna, hello, Anna. Hey, Adrian, Katie, Carol, Diane, Sherry. Okay, welcome, everybody. Welcome to Shiga. Um, welcome to Japan. Welcome to my channel on Hago. My name is Kendall James, and I'm really happy to have you here today. Let me see. I've got a little thingy here, so it just says Hago. And at the bottom, it says Miss Kendall James. You can check me out on linktr.ee forward slash Miss Kendall James. If you would like to see some of the other things I do, maybe you can have a browse at the same time. So we're at the Mizuno Mori today. Uh, it means a water forest, but to us it means a botanical garden. You guys have come here with me lots of times before. However, we're just here for 30 minutes this time. Normally I walk around the garden. We're actually just here to see their flower New Year display, which might be quaint, might be really extravagant actually. Um, and we're going to see what they're calling an orchid fiesta. So I think orchid fiesta sounds like something worth cycling seven kilometers for, don't you? So the area just opened one minute ago. So that's why I'm outside. I can't have gone in before. So I'm going to put my mask back on and I'm going to get my little money out ready for my ticket. And then I'm going to show you guys. Let's see what you guys have got. Hi, Gregory. How do I always not see you in these days you're like like a ninja hi d hi karen nice to see you beverly lovely to see you why only 30 minutes because at 10 o'clock there are many other tours on there's three other tours and um the park this um garden opens at 9 30 so that's half hour window as far as i'm concerned um i do my very best not to go over other guides and i don't think it's practical to go over other guides in asia and japan especially as you guys like to join their tours too. If anyone wants to stay with me, there's a chance I'll allow it. Um, but uh, in principle, generally, I don't do that. So that's why it's just 30 minutes. But I'm flattered that you might like to stay with me for even longer than 30 minutes. So I've got a kind of sleepy face on today because it's the morning. And Japan is sleepy too. I woke up at about 8, 8.30. Bear in mind I go to sleep at um, 1.30 or 2 a.m. So... It's not like I'm a lazy bum. Um, hi, Beatrice, Hadrian, Linda, Helen. Nice to see you guys. Hi, Claire. Um, and to be honest, it looked like the sun had only just risen in Japan. <laughs> right. I just see the first people going in. We'll be the, we'll be the second, third people. I think I saw two go in. Hi, Julie. Hi, Mary. So you guys have been here with me before, as I said. Oh, there's about five or six people in there. We've got to buy our ticket over here. We're going on the inside bit today. Inside bit, there's tulips and there's um, oh, orchids. Orchids. Okay. It's 300 yen for one. I've got a 500 yen coin here. I can take all five of them. Thanks, Virginia. I see you are back on top form. Love it. This is really common in Japan, by the way, to pay um, via a vending machine experience. How lovely is that? Different ticket every time. I think some people like Lisa might have a good collection of all of them. Hi, Sheila. My 200 lucky yenies back. Hi, Okazaimasu. Hi. I think it said, Osona. It said, grown up. 
lovely tulips already. I'll keep up the pace so that I can go and see the things that we're here to see, but tulips are part of that. I'm creating my world, which is why I use cute language like lazy bum. Right. Oh. Okay, I'll Look at this, even in winter, look at all of those lovely, lovely colours. Isn't it gorgeous? All year round, I'm telling you, 12 months of the year, this botanical garden has got so many lovely flowers. Yeah, they've got greenhouses around here, so they could well be. Oh my goodness, guys, can you see this? It's bunny rabbits. Ah, hi, Heather. Lovely to see you. That's true, Penelope. So now that I'm creating a weekly journal, this kind of thing can go right in it. So I'm really pleased with that. Look at these bun buns and the bows. There's a red one and a blue one. How cute is that? so cute right let me see if i can get myself in selfie with the bunnies oh 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 oh, oh. Ta -da! <laughs> welcome everybody oh one second i think i took it up okay there you go you got your postcards so cute hi sharon so nice to see you guys thank you so much for taking me up on my last minute tour it's so lovely to see all of you Hi Yolanda, if you haven't had um if you haven't had a hello from me, just let me know and I'll give you a hello back. Well guys, Beverly says I need a bunny mask. These are massive. I'm just gonna check how big they are, you know, with my hand. Just gonna check. Wow, they're cold. They're so cold. They're so cold. Little cold bodies. Okay, I'll give you two more minutes on the tulips and then we're going inside. Okay? Oh, there's the most fascinating tulips around here. Um, yes, so I've got I've got some bunny fabric and I just I bought a new sewing machine ten days ago, but I've been too busy to open it. Oh my goodness, these tulips are absolutely stunning. One of the things I don't like about tulips in the UK is that they're so wind blustered that they just all fall over. But these are gorgeous. Really gorgeous. And look at these. These are like, oh my gosh, I want to eat them so much. They're probably so poisonous look at these they look like dragon monster cabbages most flowers are not warm-blooded says gregory most flowers are so ready for kendall's to poke inside them this feels so good it feels really crunchy and juicy i really want to eat it but i'm not meant to eat them please don't eat these if you see them on the street not that you would Okay, let's go. Let's go and see the thing we want to see. Like I said, if anyone wants to stay with me a bit after, I could be persuaded, but there are three other tours on, okay? We've got Erico, Matt, and somebody else. A couple of um, ornamental cabbages over here. I'm lucky if the petals stay on them. Yeah, exactly, Dawn. Um, Dawn's in the UK. She's so right. Just lucky if the petals even stay on them. Look at these, aren't they stunning? So it's 9.38, the park, sorry, garden, keep calling it a park, I've been to too many theme parks lately, it's just opened, but my goodness, okay, you're getting one minute of this too. Look at these, aren't they gorgeous? The colours are so lovely. Yeah, I cycled here. It took me, it was seven kilometres of cycling. So thank you all so much for popping in. These are ornamental cabbages. I think you're not meant to eat them. I mean, I'd try, but I'd probably do it close to the bathroom just in case. <laughs> but you guys shouldn't try. Do not try. Hi, Sam. Hi, Denise. Nice to see you guys. Please do not eat these cabbages if you see them around. You can actually see these ones on the side of the street in Japan. Look at that. It's all wintry, all wintry. They've really put all of their, um, all of their exciting flowers and colors and things at the entrance way here. I think it's really gorgeous. Oh, lovely. So I was a bit worried that as I cycled here, it would be, um, it would be too windy. I got winded off my bike almost last time. 
and I had to walk um, almost 20 minutes into the into the area. Thank you so much, lovely Heather, for my first pip. That's very kind of you. Right, I'm going to show you this map. So this is the map. We're not looking around the whole garden today, but do follow this tour. Hit the notification bell and you can come and see the seasons change all year with me if you like. Yeah, they're outdoors. We've got loads of lovely ornamental cabbages, pansies, all kinds of things. Windy cycling is awful, awful. Heather, you superstar. She's got my first and second tip. That is one of my sponsors that's disappointed she can't sponsor me more. <laughs> right, we're gonna go inside. My signal is perfect right now. It's gonna change a little bit in the entranceway, but then it should be fine inside. And if not, I've got two different kinds of, um, two different kinds of internet to play with, okay guys? So don't stress out if the signal drops for a second, but it's 100% right now. Good idea, Gregory. Gregory is on my side. He says, how about waiting until you're um, outside of a hospital to try the cabbage? It's inside. Here we go. <laughs> it looks to me like their, their iris, their orchid fiesta isn't here. Oh, here it is. It is here. These are orchids. I didn't know. I didn't know. How cute is that? This is their 2003 display. <laughs> Thanks very much, Virginia. One day we should write a travel guide just for you, Kendall, where the ratings include number of great things to touch. It's got to start going in my travel, in, not in my travel journey, journal, it's got to start going in my weekly journal. Yeah, one second, Denise, I'll tell you again. I think you might have missed it. Thank you so much, Sharon, for my, for my second person, third tip. This is not a hospital, no. We're just joking about my wanting to touch potentially poisonous things. <laughs> Anna, thank you very much, lovely. Right, look at these. Let me describe what's going on here. So someone's just asked where we are, so I think they missed the beginning of the tour. So we're in Shiga, Japan, which is next to the largest lake. If you check out your map, you can see the largest freshwater lake in the entirety of Japan. It is 670 square meters. Thank you so much, Heather, your little fifth one. I'm happy if you guys have a tip for that's no problem. <laughs> bun buns. Bun buns are everywhere. This place is called Mizunomori no, Mizu to us. Mizu means water. No, it belongs to. And Mori is the, mori is the uh, forest. So it means water, water forest. But to them, it's my um, Japanese teacher called it a water garden. And what he means is a botanical garden. Begonias are here. Selfie by display. No problem, Joanna, coming in. Thank you so much, Joy. That's very kind. I do need a touchy-feely journal. And myself is a baby. Right, so just here, we've got Ajisai. Ajisai are hydrangeas to us. How cute is that? I reckon they're going to be really amazed that one girl has come here to, like, spend 10 minutes looking at one display. But there's also beautiful orchids making up the display here. And yeah, I'll get a selfie in front of it too. Thanks for the cute emojis, Queen Ariel. Look, we've got some really lovely colors and things here. Thank you so much, Sam. That's so kind of you. They are amazing. So in Japan, orchids are everywhere. They're really, really stunning. You'll be able to see them on my normal city walk tours and things as well. The equivalent of someone who's allergic to chocolate calling an ambulance and trying a Kit Kat just to see what it tastes like. That sounds like Gregory's style, to be fair. Bunny in a dress. Oh, look what this bunny's wearing. This bunny's wearing a Miffy costume. Well, not costume, it's wearing Miffy hoodie. <laughs> in your life, you touch every orchid and it runs very fast. I hope that rabbit isn't intending to... to... Hit little bunny babies for being naughty. That's what I'll say. Other words, too naughty for me. Too many connections. It does sound like Erica knows what she's talking about. Can I kidnap the bunnies? Yes. No, 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 no. <laughs> I can't. So we've got loads of beautiful orchids up here as well. 
So actually in Japan, normally outside of businesses, you can see cascades of orchids, almost a meter tall, with almost, you know, between 20 and 100 orchids on them. Thank you very much, Anna. I've got more things to show you, so don't worry, I'm going to get you close up postcards, tell you guys a little bit more, and then I can show you a couple more things around here. But like I said, mini tour, if you want to come and see more of a tour like this, you're welcome to. And if anyone wants to stick around, just give me a Hands up at the end and I'll show you around the garden a little bit. They are so cute. They are so cute. So um, the reason that orchids are usually in cascades outside businesses is because um, they're presents for anniversaries, specifically for businesses anniversaries. But the caliber of orchids in Japan is just astonishing. I'm not going to touch these ones. I feel like they are poisonous. Sometimes, so yellow is my favorite color, but in my head, I've got, I've got a student that told me yellow means danger. And right now I'm getting yellow means danger vibes. Yay, of course you are, Heather. Isn't it just the one, most wonderfulest color? Complimented very nicely by purple. Loving, loving these ones here. Hi everyone, thank you very much for coming in. So I wonder what they're going to do with this display. Normally they put, oh no, I'm about to murder an orchid. Okay, I've touched it without meaning to because this, this got, was strangling an orchid. Um, normally they had, all last year they had a tiger that was made of flowers just outside. So this year I guess they'll make a rabbit. But I wonder if they'll use all these flowers for it. Well, yellow means danger. It also means good luck and money in Asian countries. But yellow means danger because we associate it with the black and white danger signs, right? Caution signs that say don't go in somewhere. The bunnies are holding um, banners and a special paddle, not for what Gregory mentioned, um, a special paddle shape which represents something lucky for the new year. There's lots of lucky charms and things in Japan to celebrate new year. The sign is made up of pine cones. Yes, I'll get close for you in a minute. I'll get close. A mochi rice paddle. I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. I know that they're decorative from a long, long time ago, centuries ago. Um, I've never seen mochi rice made with a paddle and it doesn't have any roundness for scooping, so I shouldn't think so. I love texture books, yeah. Right, I'll get you a close up of the pine cones and I'll get you a selfie with these thingies. Virginia is back. We missed you, Virginia. You are so welcome back here. Hello, everybody. If you're new to my Hago hey channel, check me out online, Miss Kendall James. Heather, you doll. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're very kind. Oh, really? You guys might be making mochi, mochi and, uh, and sushi. Totally different to what I would. That's all right. What's the word on the kite? Let me have a look. I've got my extra phone. I'm going to translate that one. I can't, I can't read all the tens of thousands of kanji. But that's probably a useful one. I don't know if I will be able to translate this. Busy bees crafting arrow with pine cones. I'd have to source the pine cones, though. I haven't found any yet. Well, I haven't found enough. All right, let me see what I can do here. Thank you, Pamela. See if it gives us an answer. No. Let me see. Okay, I can only read the elements of it. It's got moon and stand and self and something else. So, you know, I'm guessing that's some kind of New Year relevance thing, repeating of the New Year. Right, there's some little things for sale over here. Let me show you. You can mail me all the pine cones. Oh my goodness, I bet that won't get through customs. 
who's this person mailing pine cones? Right, let me show you something really cool in here. Yeah, the moon, I was thinking lunar as well, Lynn. Let me show you in here. I'm going to touch this one. 200 yen. You can actually do crafts with these. I should probably buy one. I use one of those lovely tips you gave me. This is the inside of a lotus flower. So there's a full lotus um, garden and museum here. I think right now you can't see the lotus garden, but you know what? On Monday, tomorrow, I'm going to upload that to my YouTube channel so you can see lotus flowers from earlier on in the year. Um, also, if you go on YouTube right now, you can see this whole garden outside. In about eight minutes, I've made a narrated video that you can check out and you can see all of the lights, uh, sorry, all of the trees and things from autumn, which is pretty wonderful. It says dragon, does it, Virginia? Thank you very much. You live in pine woods, no way. There's nobody else here because it's really early in the morning, so I've got a lucky chance. He does have cute mittens on. Loads of lovely succulents here. This one's even getting a flower on it. I'm not touching these, Virginia. Oh my goodness, look at these. This also looks, this looks like tiny elephant legs upside down. Like an elephant is upside down in this pot. What do you think? I could put bandages in my bags before tour, uh, before tours. Hi, Memphis, Steph, uh, um, Stephen. Wow, look at these, there's loads of flowers. Look, it's so nice and warm in here for them. There's flowers, flowers already. Oh my goodness, don't they look so cute? They look really fluffy, but I'm pretty sure they're not fluffy. Hi, Sandra. They are definitely not fluffy. Nice to see you. Hi, Andrea. Nice to see you too, darling. Darling, lovely. I don't know, you just got a darling. You're the first voyager I've given a darling to. When I'm older. I want a succulent garden. My phone now. That was a that was an awkward first few weeks. That was. So everyone, we want a selfie. Let me show you this lovely floor. Who wants to see some little fish and maybe an axolotl? Oh, thanks. Just a really short little tour, but I'll take you back outside to see the tulips if you like after. For anyone that might want to hang around for a few more minutes. But Erico does have origami, and I think Matt has a tour, and another guide has a tour. So don't forget to miss uh, don't, don't forget to miss those. Don't forget to join them in um, eight minutes as well. Axolotl. So interestingly, my fiance is he really hates axolotls. They make him do this face. Blech. He really hates them. Right. <laughs> I'm wearing so many clothes. It'd be good if I could get double bun bun. Bun bun for bunny, guys. <laughs> Here we go, Kendall and the dragon. Kendall the dragon and the rabbit. Let's write a story. Ta -da! Oh, and the Shiba. Kendall, dragon, rabbit, Shiba Inu. Oh. Oh. There we go. And the Shiba. <laughs> I'll try and get all of the aspects in it together. Um, it's the creepy axolotl appendages that he doesn't like, yeah. How to introduce dragons into conversations, essential Chinese lesson number one. I'm, I'm here with you for that. So if you guys don't like axolotls, please look away. I'll give you one little bonus look of this before we say goodbye. And I'll take you outside to see the tulips one more time. So this is a huge garden. I usually do an almost two hour long tour of this whole space. We're just a small area inside. So I hope you'll join me in the future. Hi, Diane. Hi, Cosmina. There's little axolotls hanging out. 
<laughs> Sorry, no, it's a real thing. They're lovely, I love them. Thank you, Arthur. Not so much signal around the axolotls. But they are cute. I think I'll pop this tour on YouTube tomorrow. So if you want to relive the experience, then please do. And hello to Karen and and um dave who likes to watch this kind of thing on youtube because they don't have time or means to watch it um as it's live sometimes thank you rebecca thank you arthur that's really kind of you guys let's go outside and have a little look okay have another little look outside because the tulips are wonderful Oh my goodness, Erica says she hasn't slept in more than 24 hours. No problem, lovely. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. They do have little creepy toes, but I love them. The fish are koi fish. Maybe, maybe. Well done if they are. Right, let's go look at those nice cabbages again. The signal's hot, hot stuff outside. It's perfect. And normally what we do is we walk all the way out over here. In fact, what would you like for your last sight? Your last sight could either be Lake Biwa over there. I can show you Lake Biwa or the tulips. What would you like? I expect maybe Lake Biwa. Oh, thank you. So I do have a lot of layers on, so I can't feel the cold, luckily. But that's really kind of you to say, say that, Sharon. Thank you, everybody. I want a pet axolotl too. Lake, Biwa, tulips, tulips, tulips. Lake. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Cabbages it is. You guys can't make a decision. Okay, what I'm going to do is... It, oh, I always split the room when I do that. Nightmare. Tulips, tulips. Okay, it's tulips most, everybody. It's tulips most. You're welcome to come with me. If anyone wants to stay for a few more minutes after, I'll take you over to see the lake. Thank you very much for loving my mask. Thank you, Sharon. I think you just left me two double tips. Thank you. Okay, let's see these extraordinary tulips. We've got three minutes to gaze at tulips. And everyone can pop over to the other tours if you want to. And if anyone wants to stick around for five to ten more minutes, I'll take you to see Lake Biwa, the largest lake in Japan. Thank you very much, Queen Ariel. Queen Ariel says that she's really happy that I came here and that she could watch the tour and she's had a really nice time. Thank you very much for following me, Jan. If anyone else hasn't followed me yet, then please do. I realise those absolutely weren't tulips, and nor are these. These are pansies with exceptionally vintage-looking um, colours. Aren't they wonderful? But Queen Ariel, don't forget, on all of the tours that you like to watch on Hago, they're all in English, so, so that we don't alienate the guides or alienate the other voyagers, please try and remember to speak, speak using English as much as possible. Thank you, Julie, for the follow. Actually, guys, I'm so close to 2,000 followers. I think I'm about 30 away. So anything you can do to help me there would be great. <laughs> Thank you very much. Heather says, keep me forever. You bring us to the best places. Thank you very much for saying it's a lovely tour. Denise, thank you very much for following me. We got little sweetheart tulips here. Thank you, Andrea. That's so kind of you. So kind of you. You guys convinced me to come out on a Sunday morning more often. I haven't had tips like that in a while. Thank you. I think it might have been Heather, Heather and Sharon's encouragement mostly, though. Thank you. Arguably the best of all yellows.
Thank you so much, Virginia. That's very kind of you. All right, guys. So if you're saying goodbye, if you're going on to the other tours, have a really nice time. If you've got two devices on the go or something and you want to quickly have a look at Lake Biwa, I'm going to dash you over there. And if you guys are going to miss that, don't worry. You can catch this tour on YouTube. Um, I'll upload it tomorrow as an uncut tour. Okay, so you can view lots of my other tours uncut. You can also view some edited videos there as well. So thank you so much, everyone, if you're leaving. If there's a bunch of you that wants to stay, let's go. Let's go. All right. I hope you guys have been getting lovely, lovely postcards. Bye-bye, Erica. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, thank you. The candy bonsai tree you can check out on, on YouTube already. Yeah, so do check that one. Right. Let's go to Lake Biwa. Oh, that's all right, Penelope. No problem. Have a nice day. <laughs> Thank goodness it's on YouTube, says Heather. Let's see the lake. We're off to see the lake. The wonderful big blue lake. It's the biggest in Japan. Diddly diddly do. And it's so fun to swim in, fun to swim in, fun to swim in. <laughs> This has loads of water lilies, loads of flowers, all kinds of things go in this, um, this area. But of course, it's the winter. It's winter. No problem, Virginia, catch you later. So we've got mini, not lake over here. We've got a little water reserve. Look at the lovely colors of yellow and orange and blue. Wow, you can see lovely mountain in the background. Omi Fuji looks like Fuji sound, but it's from this area in the old name being Omi. <laughs> Heather just, I'm just laughing for almost no reason. Heather just put the words look in capital letters. And I think I just love the enthusiasm. Oh, you lovely Heather. <laughs> I think she might have given me six tips this tour. This area, guys, is usually filled with super tall um, lotus flowers. And actually, there's a lotus flower museum inside here, but you can catch that on YouTube, okay? Because the signal in there is pretty pants. Look, you can see what a lotus gardener is because... There's lotus flowers just everywhere as symbols. We're not in Kansas anymore, we're in Japan. The tree shape behind was wonderful, right? These are weeping cherry and plum blossom trees. Look at this. I think these are plum blossoms to be so, so weepingly. So this is I think maybe linked to the Lake Viewer, but that's not Lake Viewer. We have to go up and around the corner to see Lake Viewer. Look how well groomed this garden is. Look at those lines. It's winter and yet it's so well tamed. We could only hope for stylists that would take care of us so well. Sandra, not just summer, it's gorgeous. You know, so now it's winter, but even from um, March, it's really, really gorgeous different flowers every single month just going to walk you around to see the lake this is not this is not the mass of it i'm afraid it's just it's still beautiful i think this is just a mini lake nearby and you can watch the video on youtube as i said of autumn autumn was stunning in fact autumn was the first time i got tips for being here this is my most postcarded one of my most postcarded places but um, wouldn't usually score me tips for some reason. But in autumn it did, and today. So thank you. It is breathtaking, isn't it? The signal is a bit bad around here. I hope it's all okay. Thank you, Linda, very much. What can you see over there? Over in the background, back over there, you can see everywhere I cycled from. I cycled from close to the, the triangle-shaped mountain. I'm going to take you over to Sea Lake Biwa. Just hang with me. Hi, Katie. 
tree damage? Why did you say tree damage? Some of the trees are being held up very affectionately, but that's pretty standard in Japan. I think they do it in Australia too, actually. Oh, I'm lowering my mask. It's too... What's the phrase? It gets like condensation. Now, by the way, guys, this in May is a hydrangea forest. The whole thing is just covered in ajisai, so hydrangeas, and it's astonishingly beautiful. And it, it has this lovely sweet smell. Now I call, I call um, hydrangeas bouquets of butterflies. And it just is a field of bouquets of butterflies. Lovely lake view. I'm going to get you a couple of extra views, but look at it. Isn't it lovely? Isn't it lovely? We're at the smallest part of Lake Biwa. There's a big, big, big bit and then a little bit. Um, we're at the little bit. And just over there, oh my goodness, you can see how far I cycled. So just over there in the distance is Moriyama. I cycled from Moriyama, but Moriyama is so long. It's 12 kilometers all the way just to the train station not far from where I live. I cycled the quicker route, which is seven kilometers to Kusatsu, where we are right now. I haven't painted this particular view before. Yeah, Lynn says that there are trees supported like that in the Sydney Botanic Gardens. And I'm not saying this just because you commented, Lynn, but I was gonna say it earlier, but I wanted to wait till there's more people in the room. But if you're happy to share one of your upcoming tours or some of them, or your channel, please do. Lynn has got wonderful tours in Australia. And if I've missed another guide in the space, then please let me know so that you can share that. All right, I'm just gonna take you to the lover's sanctuary. Are you guys ready? Pop over to the lover, lover's sanctuary. You can see the trees with camellia um, flowers just over here as well. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I think I'm going to be smiling all day, Heather. It's not all about money, but you are charming me with your, uh, with the funny way in which you're deciding to tip me today. <laughs> I guess you picked your tip budget and you've split it all the way up. Number seven, I've never experienced such a thing. Thank you, Heather. <laughs> and everybody else, for sure. Let's go to the lover's sanctuary. Let's go. You're funny. It's like you're playing a mobile game of, um, you know, where you've got a, where you can pay money to get thingies. Thank you, Julie. A little gun shy. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sorry about the signal around here, by the way. It's going to improve in a second. We're just on our way to the lover's sanctuary. Look, the moment I say it, it improves a little bit. You can probably imagine this looking all really, really gorgeous, right? In springtime. We've got lovely little details around here. Julie, thank you, lovely. Lynn, it is always okay if you're a guide to share your um, your channel in my in my tours, always. The only thing I wouldn't recommend is sharing a tour at the same time as mine, but that doesn't usually happen. Okay, we got 100% signal again. I don't really know why it drops so significantly. Um, and anybody else, any voyages, if you've got a favorite guide that's got a tour coming up, or if you know a brand new guide that's got a tour um, coming up, go ahead and share. So all of this is usually hydrangeas, guys. It's usually quite something. Yeah, me too, Lynn. We choose times with no competition, usually. I mean... Some some things don't actually show up on the Hager calendar, I've found. Some of my own tours included, so accidents happen. Right, almost at the Lover's Sanctuary. I'm going to save it for you. Thank you! <laughs> Sarah says, um, check me out, hager.com forward slash Miss Kendall James, and very kindly says I'm one of the best. This person here called KJ is also a winner because we've got the same initials. I like that. Thank you, KJ, for your heart. <laughs> oh, oh, it was for Lynn. That's okay. Yeah, Laureen says she's surprised that um, flowers are in bloom in, in winter. But yeah, that's Japan. We've actually got quite a nice climate. It does get really too cold and really too hot, but generally a nice climate. Okay, 
This is the Lover's Sanctuary. The Satellite of Lover's Sanctuary. It says, I can read it for you after as well. Klein says connecting, but I can hear you. No, it's, it's fine. I got 80% signal in this area. Okay, one more view to show you after this. Just going to have a quick look over here. Here we declare this land as the lover's sanctuary to impart the joy and the magic of encounters, blissful marriages and raising a happy home. We send our blessings to your encounters and wish you a wonderful future since 2006. How's that, my friends? Oh, Heather says her cat loves the sound of my voice. My mum my mom plays my stories and things on YouTube for her dog. Oh, oh, we got more hearts. Yeah, my, my mittens are kind of, they're kind of a big deal. I'm going to show you in a sec. And we'll say goodbye up at this point. The main road running right through here. Well, main road runs right across Lake Biwa. So Moriyama and Kusatsu are very, very convenient locations. But yeah, it's a good winter view, isn't it? Good winter view. Oh, sorry. Oh, thank you, Lorraine. So nice to see you. Oh, and did you get your postcards that I sent? All of my sponsors, so if you choose to become my sponsor, you get real life um, physical um, postcards sent to you. Right, this one's for you guys. These are my mittens. One second. Zoom out. Am I going to say goodbye? These are my mittens. They're pretty, pretty cute. It's got a tail. It's got ears. This goes over. This, go <laughs> this goes over. It's very cute. There's hedgehogs and cats available, available as well. And also, if you are one of my sponsors, I'm available as your personal shopper as well. So feel free to send me a message. It is a sky duck. <laughs> it's not a duck. Unless, no, it's not a duck. It's a kind of crow, actually. Can you see it? Thank you, Laurie. Very, very kind of you. So just a little 10 minutes over, guys. I hope you can still make it to the, to the other tours. And I hope you had a wonderful time with me. I've lowered my mask for a second. I'm going to go make more masks soon. But thank you very much for enjoying all of the, um, the animals I'm wearing, uh, the sky, sky creatures, and all of the uh, flowers and things too. I hope you had a lovely 40 minutes. And I'll catch you soon. Thank you. Don't forget to leave a review if you're able and uh, give me a follow. And just follow all the guides. They're lovely. See you. Are you going to go to the cat cafe tonight? Is it someone's tour? Sure. I'll go. I'll go. Is it? Is it right after this one, though? That's a problem. Okay. I'll investigate. I'll investigate. Heather, um, Heather share a link for the cat cafe. Bye, lovelies. Oh, hi, Rio. <laughs> My fiance is here. Hello. Not till nine. Well, I'm in a totally different time zone to you, so I'm not sure what that means. Thank you, Laurie. Your, um, your icon is very pretty too. Oh, nice. Spring and hue. Have a lovely day, guys. Okay, I will do my best to cycle home ASAP and go and see that.